here's a new uh, new week. This is a Tuesday, and I uh, am just on my way back from a New Holland dealer, Blush Brothers, in Odin, Indiana, picking up some Baylor net wrap. And you're thinking, why does a guy need Baylor net wrap when it's 19 degrees outside? Well, they finally started taking out the corn yesterday afternoon late. So I had checked my baler and I don't think I've got enough net in the baler to finish up. So I went ahead down there and it's a, I think about 38 to 40 miles one way. Grabbed a roll of net wrap and uh, I'll get home and uh, hook up the bush hog to the tractor and the way I do the stock bales is I bush hog the stocks first then I rake and uh, then I uh, bale and one of the things I will say is I have to put extra net wrap on the corn stock bales because when I dump them off the trailer that you saw me dump hay off of if you don't have a lot of extra net wrap those bales will explode because they are wrapped and baled really really tight so that's a little bit of an update of, uh, of what my morning and I'll try and get some uh, video uh, of that process.
I've rolled up 25 cornstalk bales. I need to do another 30 or so. Uh, so it's loadout time. Eight bales at a time on my trailer. This is the process. five semis there I'm not sure how much of if all of them are loaded or not I know they're pretty far along they're just about to finish up this field and another one to go plus another 22 acres and then I'll be doing more cornstalk bales tomorrow hopefully and that will finish me up as far as the baler and all those kinds of things. It is a nice, sunny, clear, cold evening. Hey, good morning everyone. It's a Monday morning. Here in Southern Indiana, it's 36 degrees and kind of a misty, damp morning. Uh, it's been a busy uh, last six or seven days, as you see in the video in the videos, there's a lot of uh, corn stock bailing, blue stock in the stops, switching to the hay rake, and then bailing, getting them moved off the field and hauled home. Uh, there happens to be uh, about 24 bales that I'm getting ready to uh, stack in my weekend, including Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Hoosier Beef Tigers in Indianapolis. On Friday, I helped uh, check in the some of the cattle. By the way, there was over 1,100 head of prospect cattle there, over 700 heifers, and I think over 400 uh, steers. So it's a, one of the largest uh, prospect shows in the country. And then on Saturday, I ran the Indiana Beef Cattle Association booth and talked to a lot of producers and handed out membership forms, etc. And then uh, on uh, Sunday, I manned the, uh, the office for the staff from uh, 8 o'clock until noon. And after that, uh, walked through the barn one last time, headed home, and was able to watch the uh, championship drive on my computer through uh, Walton webcasting. So it's been a busy, busy week and uh, a little tough getting out of bed this morning. So I'm now up in the field on my tractor and I'm going to get the rest of these uh, cornstalk bales uh, taken care of and stacked where they belong and that won't take too long. And it sure is nice, I have to admit, to have a, uh, a nice cab tractor that has, has heat on this time of the year. So as always, if you watch the videos, uh, please make sure you share these with your friends. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, and more important than that, uh, encourage your friends along as 
as yourself if you haven't hit that subscribe button to the channel and uh, I try and put these videos out at least once a week. Everyone have a great week uh, and hope the weather's cooperative whatever your uh, whatever your needs are this week. Thank you for watching. Just, uh, it's a pretty simple process. Just pick up the bales with the front end loader and uh, move them and put them in the spot. Just uh, in case you're wondering what we do, and I may have mentioned it, I'm not sure, with corn stock bales. I'm not sure there's a lot of nutrition in these, uh, but it's certainly a good filler. And what we, what I typically do is, I don't put these out until it's really bad weather, and I'll put those out, and it's a, uh, the cattle eat what they want out of these, and then, uh, they kind of scatter them out and then they have actually a really good place uh, to bed in these out in the pasture. So that's how I use square bales, or sorry, square bales. Shows how tired I, I am. Uh, I only get these every other year because our ground that we uh, have out on shares, uh, it was rotates between corn and soybeans. So uh, it's a uh, luxury I only get uh, every other year but it is nice when I do have the opportunity to get those and again uh, they are nice to have uh, if I had a grinder a tub grinder it would be really neat to mix these corn stalks with some hay and uh, I think I could stretch my hay out a heck of a lot further but uh, just be happy with what I've got and it uh, works out pretty nice so that's uh, how I use uh, these big round bales. And if you're watching, just a little side note uh, at the conclusion of what I talked about, what I did this weekend, this is just a little trivia. My daughter attended the event and uh, with her husband, but back in uh, 2006, at this particular show, we raised and sold the uh, Champion Angus sale heifer 17 years ago at this particular show. And then the other interesting trivia, I guess, is the judges for the show were uh, Mark and Dan Hogue, father-son team that judged the heifers. And in the other ring, it was Tracy and Macy Goreski that judged the, uh, the steers. But anyway, back to Dan Hope. In 2006, uh, at the Indiana Angus preview show, Dan Hope 
was the judge of the Indiana Angus Preview Show in Lebanon, Indiana, and my daughter showed and raised the uh, grand champion or supreme red known female at that uh, show. So I did have the opportunity to chat with uh, uh, Mr. Hogue about uh, 17 years ago. So. Uh, he did kind of remember, of course, he didn't remember the half of any stretch, but he did remember Judge in the Indiana Angus preview show. So I just thought that was an interesting tidbit of, uh, of information about that show. And, and it just is unbelievable that time has gone by that fast. Again, thanks for watching.